to facilitate any of the assembly, you may want to clamp the scooter to a work table or sawhorses or something to secure it while you're doing the work. When you're ready to assemble your canine scooter, the first thing you want to install is the rear wheel and fender. So you remove the cone nut on the end of the spindle. You may require a adjustable wrench or a 5 8 wrench to, to break this loose. Remove the cone nut, the locking tab, and the jam nut from both sides of the wheel. Next you install the fender. The fender mounts with the little tab facing towards the front of the scooter. Just slide the support, fender supports onto the spindle on both sides. Then reinstall the jam nut again on both sides. Tighten down your jam nut. Okay, next you want to loosen the two adjusting screws on the disc brake unit, one in back, one in front. This requires a five millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, once the screws are adjusted, then the disc brake caliper will. Okay, once you have the disc brake loose and your fender installed, then you slide the rear tire in to the forks. And at the same time, the disc brake rotor will fit into the caliper. Okay, if the rotor is rubbing on the inside caliper, then we have flat washers that need to be inserted between the frame of the scooter and the caliper. This is going to ne necessitate taking out two screws, installing a washer or two, and then reinstalling the screws. Okay, after we get the washers put in between the frame and the disc brake caliper, then we put our locking tabs on and our cone nuts on both sides. There is a slight amount of adjustment, so we want to line up our tire and tighten it down with a 5.8 socket or an adjustable wrench. Okay, the little tab on the front of the fender is bolted to the crossbar using the 6 millimeter by 30 millimeter bolt, that's the smaller diameter with the longest length, goes through the tab, through the cross piece, and a zip nut on the bottom. Tighten it with a wrench or a socket. Next, you center the caliper over the rotor so that it's not touching on either side, and tighten, the t tighten down the two top screws. Okay, the next part to install is the luggage rack. It bolts on with four bolts, or eight millimeter, that are 20 millimeters long. And you want to use two flat washers in between the mounting bracket and the luggage rack. You can mount it in any of the holes, but I would recommend maybe the second one from the rear. Put our washers on. Put the nylon knot locking nut. Okay, don't tighten the bolts until you have all four started. When you get all four bolts in, then just tighten them down. Okay, once you have the luggage rack installed, you're ready to mount the seat. The eight millimeter by 15 millimeter set screw just screws into the bottom of the luggage rack. The seat bracket slides in there, and then just snug it down. The little cam clamp to adjust your seat. This goes right through there, put the nut on the end. Just snug it down finger tight. Okay, the seat stem just slides into the seat. You may want to adjust your angle a little bit and then just tighten it down with a 13 millimeter socket. Tighten the cam down tight as you can. Slide the seat stem in. Tighten it down to hold it. Okay, for the dog bracket, it installs with just two bolts. They're the number, they're eight millimeter by 15 millimeter. Slide the bolt through. 
put on the locking nut and then just tighten them down again with a 14 millimeter socket. For the front forks, the first thing we want to put on is the fender. The fender goes from behind the, and the little tab goes in front. Put the, the 6 millimeter short bolt, 15 millimeters long. So you put the bolt through, put a washer on, and then a Ziploc nut. Use a number 10 wrench and a socket to tighten it down. Or if you have an electric drill, that works also. Okay, the front tire is just a little bit different than the rear one. You don't have to remove the jam nut or the acorn nut if you don't want to. Just loosen them all the way out. Slide the tire in. Line up the disc brake rotor with the caliper. And tighten the nuts. Okay, to put the handlebars in, it's pretty simple. You just slide off the little plastic cap, slide the handlebars down in, and then tighten the center nut with a 12 millimeter wrench. Adjust the handlebars to the angle that you prefer. Get them centered. You tighten them with a number 13, a 13 millimeter wrench or even a half inch wrench will work for this. Tighten all four nuts. Well, we're almost done. We just have to put on the kickstand and hook up the brake lines. So to install the kickstand, you want to use the number five millimeter screws with a washer. Slide the kickstand, there's a little tab welded on underneath. Make sure the brake line is out of the way. Okay, don't tighten the first screw until you get the second screw tightened, adjusted. After you get the screws put through, take the small zip nuts and put on the back side. Then tighten the nuts down with a number eight or an eight millimeter socket or wrench. Okay, the last item is to hook up the two brake lines. The cable from the rear wheel goes to the right lever. The cable from the front wheel goes to the left lever. And if you tilt the lever up a little bit and pull it in, there's a little pivot in here. What you want to do is put the knob from the brake line up into that pivot. There's a little slot in the housing, in the bracket. Then just run the brake line through that little slot. You have to maybe compress it a little, and there your brake line is hooked up. Then you can, if you need adjustment, you can turn the outer cone and then tighten up the jam nut to hold it in place. Once you have the brake line hooked on, just take an Allen wrench and tighten the brake in the position that you prefer. If you need more adjustment, there is an adjusting screw right in this location on the back by the back wheel that you can adjust the cable to make it tighter. If you still don't have enough adjustment, you can loosen this screw, compress the brake a little, and then retighten it to take some of the cable out. Okay, for the right side, you just Put the lever together exactly the same way as on the opposite side. After you get the cable hooked to the brake lever, just put the cable down through the slot here. Take your Allen wrench and then and loosen this screw. Run the cable through and tighten it back up. 